Ever since I got this new truck, I've been shopping around for a good quality bed rack. I was surprised to see that most options out there start at about $600 or more. And I just couldn't justify myself paying that much for something that I could well fit myself. So, I made my way to the local metal supplier and here's what I have done. So for this project we're gonna be using the uh, inch and a half by three inch C channel. You're gonna need two six foot pieces like this one. So I made this small template on a piece of plywood as you can see. I knew I wanted to go about 10 inches high. So from here to this line I have 10 inches. The other thing I needed to find out was the angle of this line right here. So to find that out I use my uh, speed square. So I basically put it right here. Make sure it lines up with the line. And then as you can see we have about 64 in 64 degrees. So I knew that this line was at 64 degrees. So this angle right here is 64 and this one right here is 116. So this template also works as a guide for me when bending the, uh, the actual rack. That way I know exactly where I need to be at and all the pieces will be equal. First thing you're going to want to do is um, mark the center. I already done it right here. And then from the center you're going to want to go 25 inches this way. In this case I went 25 inches because I want my rack to be 50 inches at the top. Um, you measure accordingly to whatever size you want your rack to be. Uh, so we went 25 inches this way. And that's going to give us about uh, 10 inches of height once we bend this piece. So this is gonna be about 10 inches right here. Uh, once you make that mark right there, you're gonna to want to lay out your, uh, your angle here. So to do that, uh, I made a template and that helped me uh, determine what kind of angle I was looking at. But basically I came out with a 64 degree angle and uh, to, do, to lay out these, I'm gonna be using my speed square. So basically all I'm going to do is uh, put my uh, pivot point at the mark, like so. And then I'm going to turn the speed square until I have 32 degrees. Now 32 degrees that's because I need a 64 degree angle. So I'm going to split that in two. So that's 32 degrees each way. So once you've reached the, 20, the 32 degrees right over there, you make a mark, like so. And then you go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. Turn your spit square till you have 32 degrees roughly right over there. And make a mark like so. Once you have that laid out, you can uh, go ahead and uh, make this uh, V cut and then uh, we'll go ahead and also bend this piece. I'm gonna show you how in a couple seconds. Let's cut out this first. Okay, safety first. Okay, so here's what we have done. Once you cut out this V right here, 
you also want to cut it right in the middle that way uh, when we go to bend it it's not going to be as hard I'm going to show you right now how we're going to do that okay so very simple we're just going to lean it against the saw horse and just going to apply some pressure like this until we reach the uh, desired angle and I'm going to show you now how uh, we know when uh, we are at the right angle So using the lines that I drew on this piece of plywood, I can perfectly line up the rack with those lines. And that way I will make sure that all the pieces are the same, at the exact same angle. Okay, our next step will be uh, marking and cutting out this piece right here. That's so when uh, you install the rack on your uh, truck, it will sit flat at the bottom. To find out this angle right here, we can either go to our template. Uh, we know that uh, the angles inside of our uh, triangle here are 180 degrees in total. So this one is 64 we have a 90 degree right here and uh, if we do the math uh, 180 minus 64 minus 90 that means that it leaves us 26 degrees for this angle right here so let's go back to the rack again pivot point to the corner start turning our speed square until we have 26 degrees right about there and uh, make a mark that's one way to do it the other way if you find it easier is just uh, running at some sort of a uh, string line or some sort of uh, flat edge from this corner to this corner and making a mark along that flat edge or string line, whatever you choose. Whichever way works the same. To mount the rack onto the truck bed, we're gonna be using this piece of angle iron. There are two inches by three, but by about a foot long. We're gonna be installing them, installing them like this, and the rack is gonna be welded onto this end. To attach it to the truck bed, we're going to use this type of C-clamp, which goes right here, and it's going to bite into this lip, and it's going to hold the rack down. We're going to need four of these pieces. I'm going to go ahead and start welding everything together, and it will show you the final product. Okay, what I'm trying to do here is by using this long 2x4 and a couple other small pieces of lumber, I am able to mock up the exact dimension of my truck bed. This will help me tremendously while welding all the pieces together to ensure a proper fitment at the moment of installation.
time to hit it with some paint. And there you have it. I ended up spending about $130 including metal and paint. It took me about a day and a half and uh, overall I'm very satisfied with the result. I think it's a very good quality product that if I was to go buy myself I would probably be spending around $600 or more. Um, I knew it probably doesn't look as nice as some of the, uh, the ones that you find on the market nowadays but in the end of the day I get the satisfaction of doing something with my own hands that I know exactly how well built it was and exactly what I'm gonna be using it for. If you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to the channel do me a favor and hit that red button. It will help me immensely and until the next time thank you for watching.